Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be giving you some tips for how to make a high converting Shopify store. When designing and laying out your website, you always want to strive to maximize the percentage of visitors who take action and engage more with your website. A high converting website design can help to entice customers to make a purchase or join your email list or even visit your contact page and ask you questions. In this video, I'll be covering how to help your store rank higher in search engine results by maximizing your store's SEO and the SEO of your product pages. And I'm gonna cover some page design tips for helping you to create a website with a smooth navigation. Without further ado, let's get straight into this video. First off, you'll want to include some key elements in your site's navigation and layout design to help your customers browse and filter through your products. One of the very first ways you can do this is to simply include a visible contact page on the homepage of your website. This can help customers feel more secure and knowing that they can easily get in contact with your brand. And if you take on custom orders, it can be recommended to add a contact form to the homepage of your website for if people are interested in booking your services and if they have any questions. To create a smooth navigation for your contact page, you can add a few of your contact details to the contact page. So here I'm adding a rich text section and when you reposition this section, you can choose to go ahead and add more of your contact details. This way customers will know your contact info and possibly a few other ways that they can get in contact with your brand. Then a tip that's almost at the center of creating a high converting Shopify store would be to include plenty of call to actions to promote your products and collections within your store. Here's an example of a section that I added and it has a simple call to action title text to prompt customers to shop this store's collections. You can include call to actions to motivate customers to sign up or join your email list. You can include sections to help promote your brand's social media pages and you can especially use things like discounts and flash sales to get customers interested in those products. For a quick example of how you can add one of these call to action banners, I'll be importing an image banner. Here for the heading, this is where you can title the section and insert a link to that specific collection or product. Then you can upload some brand pictures for the background. In general, you definitely don't want to skip out on making use of call to actions to help introduce customers to new products and also even help customers engage more with your brand. By the way, if you are interested in these websites I'm showing, these are all my Shopify theme templates. I have a variety of Shopify themes designed for different types of businesses. These are editable website templates that'll help you save a ton of time from designing your website from scratch. The Shopify theme will arrive in a theme zip file format, which you can easily install straight into your Shopify store. I will link all the ones I'm showing in this video in the description box below. Next, you'll want to work on your website's SEO and the SEO of your product pages. I'd like to give a big thanks to SEO and for sponsoring this portion of the video. SEO Ant is a very beneficial tool for helping you improve and optimize your website's SEO. Their features include an SEO checker, keyword research, AI writing, and more. To install SEO Ant into your store, you're going to open the SEO Ant app in the Shopify app store and you're going to install this straight into your Shopify store. Next, you can select a plan based on what's going to work best for your business. I do have a special code for you guys to get 40% off. You're going to scroll to the bottom of the page and insert McKenna 40% off to get 40% off your plan. Here you have the option to use their site scanner. This will run a diagnosis of your entire website so that you can use their one-click optimization to fix those SEO mistakes. And as you can see, this goes in and detects any SEO issues with your website for you so that you can use the one-click fix feature to fix those issues. And here, this has fixed a variety of issues such as the alt text, optimized images, meta descriptions, and more. Then they have a keyword research tool. This takes data from both Google Analytics and Google Trends, and it's also a feature that helps set SEO Ant apart from other SEO optimizers. Here on the app, you're gonna click SEO Analytics. Then when you click the My Website Keywords, this is a feature for you to analyze your website's keywords and see your top ranking keywords your website is using. Then for their keyword search, this is where you can search those keywords and take a look at their traffic and rankings. You'll want to choose keywords with high search volumes and low competition. You have a few more options for how you can filter and sort by the keywords. Then for their competitive keyword monitoring, this helps with researching a competitor's website keywords and making your keyword comparisons. Taking a look at other websites, keyword terms, stores that may be within the same niche as yours, or stores that may sell similar products to yours can help you determine the additional keyword type you could test out using Next, for their keyboard gap feature, this can help you to analyze competitors' websites and compare them to yours. You have the option to compare up to three competing websites at a time. You'll also be able to view your competitor's position in comparison to yours. Next, for their on-page SEO scan, this is going to be associated with keywords. Here, you'll have the option to select a focus keyword, and you can choose to repeat this with each product in your Shopify store. 
You can also generate the keywords in keyword suggestion and keyword search within the AI on page. All the keyword functions are servicing for on page optimization. Here you'll be able to use the keyword search. Then you can choose to put those keywords here in the AI generator to help generate your text. You can click fill content to apply those new optimized text results to your description, meta title, meta description, and more. I went ahead and added some pictures to the product description. As you apply these features and follow the SEO advice, you should be able to see the SEO score increase. You'll have the option to select specific text. And when you click this AI optimization icon, you can use this to change the text, rephrase and extend the text and more. This will be an excellent way for you to optimize the text and also for you to extend the text. Here under set product tag is where you can set the tags for your product. There's also a few other features, including for you to customize your meta tags. This can help to improve your website search engine ranking and can lead to more engagement and orders on your site. When you enable these, it can help to allow SEO Ant to generate your meta titles and descriptions for not only your products, but also your collection and also for your blog. Then they also have their backlinks feature. In case there are any broken links, this will help to redirect those bad links to reduce user loss. There's an option for you to set up branded categories and start the exchange backlink journey. And there's an option for backlink audit so that you can track the analytics of your backlinks. SEO Ant helps to improve search engine rankings and drive more traffic to your site. You can sign up today and use my special code McKenna 40% off to get 40% off your plan. And the last thing I'd recommend incorporating in your website's design would be to have a clean and minimal navigation bar on your website. If possible, you want to include more than enough pages for your customers to learn more about your brand and feature where they can go and view a few of your different product collections. For example, it's very common for people to feature their best selling product collection on the navigation bar in case people want to shop their best sellers. To customize your navigation bar, here on Shopify, I'm going to click navigation. Then I'm going to open the main menu. And this is where you'll have the option to edit or remove the current menu items and to add new menu pages. I'm going to start off by adding a link to the all collections page. This way, when customers click on this link, they'll be able to browse through each of your product collections. I'm going to remove the link to the catalog page and here you can freestyle the other pages that you would like to add. I'll be featuring an example bestsellers collection as well as the blog page. If you've created one, you can put a link to your about us page and you can also feel free to put a link to your policy pages. Next, you're going to save that menu. Then when you go to open your Shopify website, this is going to be your new menu layout. Here you have a minimal and versatile navigation bar for the top of your website. You also have the option to click on this header menu and you can choose to apply the drawer menu type. This way here, when customers are on a desktop or a laptop device, it will hide away your menu. And when they click these three lines, it will create a dropdown for your menu. Additionally, you'll definitely want to customize your footer bar menu as well. Here on Shopify, you're going to click navigation, then footer menu. And this is where you can begin at customizing the footer menu. Here, I'll be adding a link to the homepage of the website. Then you can proceed to feature whichever collections and whichever pages you would like. Then again, you're gonna go to customize your website. I'm gonna scroll to the very bottom where the footer menu is. And here under footer, I'm gonna click add block. And this is where you can insert a menu and you want to make sure it is linked to your footer menu. I'm going to click add block again, and you also have the option to insert an image icon where you can upload your brand's logo. And that's how you can customize the footer bar section of your website. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget I have many different Shopify theme templates available on my website. I've put together these pre-made Shopify website templates and these will save you a ton of time from designing your website. If you're unfamiliar with Shopify templates, after your order, you'll receive it in a zip file format. And here in your Shopify account, you can easily install that into your store. In these template bundles, I've included instruction guides to help you with editing and installing the templates. And I have many types for many different businesses, whether you sell clothing and apparel, makeup and cosmetics, and I also have some for dropshipping businesses. Those will be linked in my description box below. Thank you all so much for watching.